Hi all, I hope that you're all doing well. I'm back with another vinyl haul. I haven't done it in a long time. I'm very sorry. I know I've got some comments about where have you been and everything. Um, the reality is I've been super busy. I didn't buy a lot of records because I was moving around. And um, now I'm officially settled in Toronto and I started to buy some vinyls again. Um, the only vinyl that I got and I, I don't have right here with me is um, a head full of dreams from Coldplay. It's still at my parents' house. So basically my apartment is quite small so I did not move any of my records. But when I move, eventually one day, I'll bring all of my records here. So that explains why I don't have um, a head full of dreams with me right now. Also, I want to talk about the quality of this channel. Um, like right now I'm filming with just my camera, no lights, well these lights, but like no lights, no proper microphone. I just want to do it like very simple because on the other channel like I put a lot of effort um, and it sometimes gets very um, complicated just to film and do like quick videos and stuff. So I want to make more videos on this one, uh, so I'll just keep it as simple as possible. Um, also at the end of this video I will be unboxing this little... Uh, record that I just bought today so it's Fallout Boy American Psycho American Beauty American Psycho uh, and I got it for a very good price at $21 so I thought it was a good price tell me if you bought it for a better price than that all of the records that I'm gonna show you today you can actually go and see the full unboxing on my channel like usually um, but if you're just interested to see them like that it's also very cool so um, let me do it in the proper order so the first one that I got uh, when I came here, I actually got this for free because my dad gave me like a Visa prepaid card that he got from a shop anyways. Um, so I was able to buy a record that is a bit more expensive than what I normally buy. And uh, I bought Celine Dion Sans Attendre, which is one of, for me, one of my favorite French album of hers. Um, and um, she actually started releasing all of her classic French albums on vinyls. Hopefully her English ones are gonna follow as well. But this is what it looks like and it's pressed on black vinyl and it's an actually really really good album. Um, good vocals, well produced. Um, so if you want to, or if you're learning French, this might be a very good album for you. Um, the next album that I got was an album that I should have gotten a long time ago. But because I stopped buying them, as I told you earlier, I did not buy it when it came out, but it's one of my very favorite albums. Um, it's Lady Gaga, Joanne, uh, and this officially completes my collection. So I have all, her, all of her albums on vinyl. Uh, also, I have her jazz record with Tony Bennett. So I'm pretty happy about it. It's quite nice. Haven't listened to it yet properly on, on vinyl, but I will. Um, and I think this record is really good. Oh, hello, mommy. Oui, attends un petit peu. Attends. We're gonna get that later. Oui, but oui, attends un petit peu, mommy. Still a puppy, eh? Mm, attends, oui. So, Joanne and a ball. <laughs> The next record that I want to show you is a record that I really, really like. Um, it's an older one, well, old-ish one, um, and it really is a classic, so no doubt Tragic Kingdom uh, on there if you're not familiar. Um, first off, no doubt is the group with Gwen Stefani for people who don't know. <laughs> for younger people out there, she's the coach on The Voice, right? Okay. Um, and this album is really good if you like like soft ballads and stuff. Um, Don't Speak is a very good one, so if you want to look at this, for those of you who might not know, um, there's no shame, it's a little older than most records that I unbox. So that's that, a really good one. The next one, I was actually very excited because Rihanna released her albums on records, uh, like on proper LPs. And it got me very excited because this is one of my favorite pop albums. When it came out, I know that it was not like the fans' favorite, but for me personally, I really liked it. And it's rated R. Uh, there you go, by Rihanna. And this was like her darkest album um, at that point. It's very well a good reflection of what type of music was made in these years 
but I would say it's a bit more rock in a way. Um, it remains very pop, don't worry about that. But it's in a way uh, a bit more rock and also in the, in the images and everything. Uh, it's a bit more rock than most albums at that time. Really good album um, and it's my second or third uh, Rihanna album. I believe it's the second one. Yeah. Um, next I've got, I did not even know they made that on record, which is fantastic. So I got uh, Fantastic Beasts. I have almost completed my Harry Potter world um, vinyl collection. I'm unfortunately missing the Harry Potter and, ha and the Half-Blood Prince uh, vinyl edition simply because it is a Barnes & Noble's exclusive which is very annoying when you do that I don't know why they break deals with companies like that for exclusivi exclusivity because first off they're always more expensive they're not necessarily better quality and it's so annoying because I'm sure they sell less like I don't anyways I don't get how it works um, but we unfortunately don't have Barnes & Noble's where I live um, and just for shipment to Canada it's more expensive which and would end up costing a lot more money than it should for an album so that's that's that is very annoying I might ask it for Christmas I don't know finally the next album or the final album that I have in this uh, vinyl haul before unboxing uh, the Fall Out Boy 1 is Lucas Graham it's the title album um, and it is for those of you who did not listen to the whole album or just know seven years, um, there's much more to that. Personally, seven years for me, it's it's a good song, but it's my least favorite song on the album. Um, and it is a very good album. So if you like pop that is like with real instruments, if you will, like it's not all synth, this is a good one for you. Um, and it's on one LP, so it's cheaper than most records. Um, also, I want to mention that I'm waiting for some albums. Um, I have pre-ordered um, Elton John, I think it's called Diamonds, or the Diamonds Collection. I would have to check, I don't remember the full title. So, it's basically another compilation. <laughs> uh, Elton John releases compilations maybe every five years. Um, I might be exaggerating, but I've seen him perform in Montreal and when I was in England, also in a small village, and I it, I really, really like him a lot. <laughs> but speaking of Elton John, I'm also searching for a record. I think it's gotten really rare, and it's not a fan favorite, so I'm not sure if I'm going to ever find it for a good price. If you have any hint, if you own it or and want to sell it, tell me. I'm looking for Elton John, The Captain and the King. Uh, it's a really good record. Unfortunate, unfortunately, it's not going to be repressed, which is so annoying. Maybe they will do it one day, but because it's not a fan favorite, I think I will need to get my grip on an original edition. So if you have any hint, please let me know. Uh, and I'm also waiting in the mail right at this very moment. Uh, Pablo Alboran um, and the title of the album is called Terral. Um, it's a really good Spanish album. If you like that type of music, you can go and check him out. It's really, really cool. Um, and the guy himself is, anyways, if you look at his interviews, looks really, really nice and really cool and very down to earth. So that's always a plus. And he's gonna release some new music. He has already released two new tracks from his next album. So hopefully he's gonna release that on vinyl too. Uh, and other than that, um, my wish list for vinyls is full. So in the next uh, few weeks, I think you'll get uh, loads of unboxing videos on this channel. And speaking of unboxing, let's do this bad boy. So I've never done a live unboxing before. <laughs> like, I never spoke during unboxings. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, so there we have it. I'm trying to make it as pleasant as possible. And here you go. Ba -da 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 -da. And there you have it. Mimi, if you wanna play with that. The texture is really fun. I like these textures. They're not like those super glossy ones. 
So that's fun. Um, so it's gatefold, so let's open it. Ah, that's really cool. I don't know if you can see it properly. Um, and then there's that here. And um, here, and let me see. Yeah, so these are lyrics. You know, sometimes there's their information about the songs, who wrote them, and stuff like that. But this is, it seems to be lyrics. And yeah. Oh, and there's some information about the record here, which is, I guess, very standard. Um, and finally, the record. I've seen online that some records were like colored press. I don't think this one is for $21, but I would be very amazed, otherwise I'll, I'm just going to be very happy. And oh, it is! It is! No way! That's so cool! I don't know if you can properly see it, but it's like see-through. And it's like marbled pressing. I know the light is not perfect, but I mean, it's gonna be out of focus, but you're gonna get the idea anyhow. It's cool, isn't it? I wonder, let me know in the comments section, yeah. I wonder if they, they're all the same color or if they're all different, because I've seen online an orange one, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but that's really cool! For $21? That's amazing! Some records, you bite them, they're like $40 and they're just like one black one. I'm like, oh, I like the record, but like, it's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? This one's cool! Yay! Uh, but feel free to just subscribe and like this video. And other than that, I'll see you somewhere on the internet. All of my links are down below, so ciao!